Hello, creative stampers. I have my internet back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, well, technology is great until it's not, right? <laughs> oh, um, I'm hoping all of you can find me this morning. If not, I'm sure I'll have a lot of you on the replay today. Um, and if you are watching on the replay, be sure to say hello. And for those of you who might just be finding me for the first time, my name's Christina Reese, and I usually come live on Wednesday mornings at 9.30 a.m. Central Time, but this morning my internet went out, but it's all fixed, and we're very happy for that. So uh, Wednesday is Card Challenge Wednesday, and I have a winner from last week, and we have got a new challenge for this week. Hey, Marilyn! And uh, so we need to... Uh, Announce the winner for last week. Um, this is also, we only have a few days left in July. Um, there's a host code right here. If you're not familiar with host codes, when you purchase from my store, from my shop, and you spend $50 or more and you use this host code, I send you a thank you gift at the end of the month. Okay. Um, and also we are in bonus days right now, which Stampin' Up! is giving everyone a $5 coupon when they spend $50. So you'll get both a coupon and a gift. Um, and let's see, we've got all kinds of people here who have found us wonderful. We got Colleen and Patricia. Uh, we've got Renee, Melinda, Carla, Shane uh, Shawnee, Marianne, Pat, lovely, awesome. Okay, welcome, you guys. Okay, let's um let's announce our winner first. So I need to first uh, find. So I need to find my screen that has that on there. Okay, here it is. All right, and um, the challenge was the color yellow, and this winner. Oh my gosh, she used the cutest little mouse stamp set that we used to have. Um, in it, I just. I loved it when we had it. I used it. I don't use it anymore because I got so many more new stamps to use, but she used it and it is awesome. Here we go. Congratulations to dun, da, 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 Marilyn. Just a quick note to say, and I'm not sure what she said inside, but look how adorable that is. And I love how you use that circle cutout die to make the Swiss cheese. That is so clever. So cute. Okay, so congratulations, Marilyn. Please email me your um, mailing address, okay, so where I know where to ship your prize to you. Also, speaking of prizes, uh, Dana and, oh, I forgot who won last week. Um, I need to get y'all's prizes out too. Hold on, I have it right here. Dana and Carol, Carol Busby. So Dana, Carol, and Marilyn, I owe you prizes uh, on the agenda to get it done. <laughs> I swear. Do you all have like a, um, a to-do list that is like super long. And then as the day goes on more to do, uh, to do things, more things get put on that list. And oh my gosh. So today having the internet out really put me in a, uh, predicament, but that's okay. We'll get caught up. I will get caught up. All right. Let me remove this and let me switch views. There we go. Okay. Um, this week's challenge, this week's challenge is dots. And I'm calling it dots and spots because that just sounds cute together. Um, there's a Dr. Seuss book. I think it's, I think it's called dots and spots or spots and dots. I'm not sure. Anyways. Um, <laughs> so we're going to play with dots today. Okay. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get out our uh, DSP. Now, the designer series paper in the different um, packs, family colors. So uh, this is the Brights pack. I am zoomed in really close. Let me back out just a wee bit. There we go. Okay. Um, we have a pack for each of the family colors, neutrals, subtles, regals, and brights. And you get the, the same pack, two no, four different patterns um, of, of all the colors in that family, okay? So it's really awesome. And these are great for um, kind of like supplement uh, paper to go with the designer series paper or just to use by itself. This is the Berry Burst, and I pulled it out because I wanted to use the... Um, 
oh, what is it called? I'm not, I'm, I thought it was so organized, masterfully made. Um, and usually I make these like little samplers, but because masterfully made is, um, you really can't do it justice by cutting out a little two inch square. But um, this is the one that I'm using with the berry burst in there. But I just love masterfully made. It looks like torn paper. Um, and then it's got a lot of floral. Um, yeah. So it's really cool paper. So that's what we're using. And what I did is I wanted some circles. And at first I had out the stylus shape dies. But the sizes, this one was too big. This one was too small. And then I was looking for some other circle dies because I knew we had some. This is from Radiating Stitch Dies. And this circle right here goes in between or is the size in between um, this large one and this smaller one here. So it is a perfect size. So I went ahead and cut out um, six circles from this. And so we've got spots and dots. <laughs> Now, your card does not have to have both. You can have whatever you want, just as long as you've got dots somehow on your card. And so I am going to design my paper like that, and then we'll trim these off. Okay, so let me get out some uh, tape. Where's my tape? There you go. Whew, so you guys keeping cool? Oh my gosh, Texas is getting hotter and hotter. And I know it would. August is always our hottest month, obviously. And sometimes we have a really hot September too. Um, oh, and when you are lining up things on your card, I've cut this DSP at four and a quarter by five and a half. It's going to cover the whole card base. Um, I use the grid paper and I know that's the center. So I can kind of eyeball it and just put it right. Mm, let's go right there, right there. And then we'll do it on the top. Anyways, but I do, it, it's not as hot as it's been in Texas. I remember one summer when I was at summer camp. Okay, that sounds like the beginning of a crazy story. <laughs> like on our, um, our Facebook uh, thing, tell us about that one summer camp. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was at summer camp and it was 116 degrees that summer. Whoo, that was a hot one. And I don't think it's ever been that hot. It may have been hotter than that since then, but I just, even as a kid, that was hot to me. All right. So then I just lined those kind of, eyeballed them and got those evenly spaced. And then I'll do these down here. Hello, Tanya. Joining late. We'll have to watch the rewatch. We haven't really done anything except for the winner, Tanya. Our winner was uh, Marilyn, and she did a really cute yellow card with Swiss cheese and the little mouse. It was adorable. Yep. Very hot central Illinois. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. Cutting down ground cover. Yuck. Ugh. And it, it, we have a garden and we just not enjoyed weeding or anything right now. It's just no fun. It's just too hot, but we have to, or it, it'll all die or get yucky. So we have to go out there. All right. I'm just using the edge of my paper as a guide to trim those off. There we go. All right. So I have some spots and dots there. And next thing is our sentiment. I pulled this from uh, something fancy. Okay, something fancy. It says, grateful for the everyday magic of you. Isn't that, I love that. It's just a cool sentiment. Um, and we're going to put that on a white sentiment strip. It's just three quarters. It's just wide enough to uh, fit the sentiment. And I'm using the... Pretty Peacock to bring out the Pretty Peacock in the paper. Okay, and excuse me while I put my head over the camera. I have to line this up. There we go. Whee! Perfect. And I pulled out a piece of Pretty Peacock 
cardstock to put it on because I thought it got kind of lost looking like that. So I put an edge on it. Um, there we go. Looks like I went a little bit over on this side. There we go. Oh, you know what? I I wasn't even thinking. These were supposed to be on dimensionals. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. I could probably still do dimensionals. Pull them up. Our tape is pretty sticky, though. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, that's coming up easily. Oh, awesome. Okay. <laughs> now I just can't forget which ones went on which side. Yay. Oh, that makes me happy. Happy, happy day. Happy, happy day. Okay, those are minis. Oh, tell me I've got more dimensionals. Oh. Well. Oh, here's some. Phew. <laughs> Okay, let's put two on each. There we go. How we doing, you guys? Um, yes, that was it, 1980. That was when I went to summer camp. I was in the seventh grade. <laughs> Marilyn, you remember it. Uh, it was no fun that summer. <laughs> yes, we survived the 1980 heat wave. That was, I remember that. That just, yeah, even the little, you know, because they have little air conditioning units in the cabins at the camp and they couldn't even keep you cool. It's like we all just kind of huddled around it. Um, and it wasn't any fun to play in sports or anything because it's like you just get so hot. There we go. In the dining hall, I remember how sweaty we were in the dining hall. Whew. Not good memories that summer. <laughs> oh, I'm sticking. Sticky, sticky. There we go. Oh, North Dakota, 90 degrees. That is not right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is too close to Canada to be that hot. Though I do remember uh, we were in Oil Royal, Isle Royal, or Isle Royale, however you say it, in Lake Superior, and it was 95 degrees. And they don't have air conditioners up north in their cabins. <laughs> so that was no fun. Um, yeah, that was crazy. You go way to the north to get cooled off from being in the south and you run into a heat wave. <laughs> that was a crazy, that was a crazy one. All right, that looks much better with those pulled up on dot. Okay, that looks a lot better. Whew. Okay, now we're almost done. All we have to do is put it on the card base and we're finished. So this is our challenge. Dots and spots. Um, you don't have to have both. You can just have dots. You don't, or you could just have circles, whatever, just as long as you have something, something that kind of gives you that idea. There we go. So, and I just did it as a tent fold. So it sits up like that. All right. Grateful for the everyday magic of you. Oh, it looks like I need some trimming here. Woo, look at that. Looks like my card stock is not quite four and a quarter. All right, come on. Oh, I'm going through the dimensionals and the card stock right there. There we go. And this side too. Okay. There we go. That's better. Yay. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. So you all know to um, put the challenge. I always forget to put this up there where to put the challenge. There we go. Join the ch card challenge 
on the Facebook page, Creating with Christina. And for those of you who get confused, um, I do have two Facebook um, things. One is a page and that's the Creating with Christina. It's the uh, public um, business page. It's where I go live. So anybody can watch my live. Um, and then it's where I put this contest, uh, this uh, challenge. So anyone can enter. But then we have a private group and that's called Christina's Creative Stampers. And so um, we'd love for you to be over there. If you're not over there, um, you do have to answer two questions for me to accept you. If you don't answer the questions, I just decline um, your because I don't want any crazy people in there. Only stampers allowed in there. It doesn't matter if you're a demonstrator or not, um, because it's just a place for us to share our ideas. Um, I do a lot of fun activity, you know, interaction posts. Like I asked, you know, what was that crazy summer, uh, summer camp time? And we got a lot of funny answers from there. Like I got my first kiss in summer camp. But anyways, I think there's a strawberry salad uh, recipe on there today. So that's a fun uh, Facebook group, but it is private and you do have to be accepted into that. But this this page, Creating with Christina, is public. Anyone can be here. All right. Um, I can't think of anything else. Let me double check, make sure I haven't missed any questions. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you like the card. Thank you so much, Tina. Yes. And thank you all who share. Sharing this video helps so much. It helps so many people find us. <laughs> Love the dots. Great. And that was from Vicki. I'm glad you like them. Congratulations again, Marilyn, for your card, winning your card. Yes. Awesome. Okay. I don't see any questions. You all have a blessed rest of your day and I will be back Friday for Fun Fold Friday. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>